say, say something. Mic check, mic check. Okay, uh, literally is no pressure. We got a special guest. Go ahead and introduce yourself. I go by the name of Young Toko. That's Young T O K O, Young Regular Way. You can find me anywhere. Okay, so tell the people where you from. Well, I was originally born in Africa. Let me go live with my phone. Let's turn it off. Alright, I'm originally born in Africa, Angola, Rwanda. I moved over here when I was like, to USA when I was like three, four. Popped up in New York. You know, daddy, uh... Got a spot out in Pennsylvania. I started back, bouncing back and forth from New York to PA to school and shit. Uh, and then I ended up in North Dakota, Minnesota, Minneapolis, Cali. Shot my first video. And then ended back up in New York. And now I'm out here in Atlanta. So, last year too. Shit, I kinda, I kinda blanked out. So you, you grew up with both? <laughs> yeah, I grew up. <laughs> both of your parents? Yeah, both my parents. But my, uh, my dad moved back to Africa like 2017. Okay, so I guess what's the your best and worst uh, childhood memory? Worst childhood memory? What happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. <laughs> I don't know, like, my worst childhood memory is probably like injuring my knee. That's probably, I'll take it like that, injuring my knee. How do you injure your knee? I came down on like a dunk, uh, shattered my kneecap, tore my ACL. Oh, so you like a sports star? Or you oh, just... I'm an athlete, real athlete, basketball player, jack star boxing. Oh, so what's your ranking in boxing? <laughs> it was like 14 five. Oh, okay, that's what's up then. Okay. I didn't box for that long because, you know, I started fighting in school, so my main level of that. Okay. <clears throat> You know, like in Jamaica, right? <clears throat> how they they kill like I always bring up that shit too. Like they kill like <laughs> they kill sissies or whatever. Like they they don't allow that shit. So is it like that in Africa? Oh yeah. Like that shit ain't allowed. A lot, a lot of places, especially down there in Congo. Yeah, don't don't play in Congo. They bad bitches. <laughs> okay, so what um what age did you decide that you wanted to be a rapper? Like, my uncle was actually a rapper, and he was like, he was fucking with 50 Cent and P. Diddy back when they was doing those little shows, and like, you know, when they had the rappers come out and do all that, little competition session shit, and he was fucking with them for a while, but then uh, he got deported like 2010, 2011. Like, really, there wasn't no hip hop rap in my family, in my household, you know, everything, so like, we was listening to African music. The most music I probably got was like R. Kelly, Usher, you know that. Confession tape, you know, like, I had prayer chains and shit like that. But my uncle had gave me a CD, you know, one time, because I was always going over to New York, and he lived in New York. So uh, he gave me a CD, and my dad had a little, uh, the little CD joints, you know, where you put the CD in headphones or whatever they call them, little walkie joints. And I used to sneak that to school every morning, you know, I started reciting his bars, thinking they were mine and shit, because his hands really just start like that. I ain't had no brothers and shit, so, you know. My words are like my brothers, you feel me? Okay, so what's like the worst act of violence that you witnessed um, in Africa or in, in the States? Worst violence in Africa? I can't remember the worst violence in Africa, you know, because I was really young. Okay. But when I was born, it was you know, a lot of poverty. I was born in the 90s, you know, so war ain't in Rwanda until like 2002. That's like one of the main reasons my dad uh, moved us out over there. <coughs> okay, so um, I guess what we gonna go with. Okay, yeah, matter of fact, let's go with uh, Casanova, right? <clears throat> he had the video of him like before he got locked up. Well, he he got arrested um, for like. Uh, but what the, it was like, eight, I'm on 18 alleged untouchable Gorilla Stone Nation game, man. It was indicted. And before he got locked up, he was like, um, he was saying something about, I'm a whole gangster out here. I'm a, I'm a tough dude. So, what, do you think that was dumb for him to say that? Like, uh, when you go to court, you trying to get them to see you a different way, but he just saying, oh, I'm a whole gangster out here. 
I'm a tough dude, so how do you feel like, like? I feel like with the game, it's all about entertainment. It's like what you put in, what you gonna get out. So you know, you put in something that was gonna catch an eye, eye, and he got an eye, eye back. You feel me? It was a little catch eye. Okay, matter of fact, I seen a video too with this um, this female. I guess I don't know if she caught him cheating, but she walked up on him and made him take off all the stuff she bought him. So, Casanova? No, I want Casanova. This uh, is like a little random video. So if a girl, like if your girl come up and she catch you cheating, it's like oh, you I think I actually off. seen that. Nah, the, nah, it was the dude. He was. He was wearing uh, his brother's homie shit or something like that, right? No, the girl, it was like his girl had bought him all the clothes that he had on. Right. I think except his drawers or something. So if a chick came up and said, nigga, take all that shit off I bought, what what would you do? Like, she'd you just be like, get the fuck out away from me and take it out. You gonna choke it out? Nah, I ain't going for it. <laughs> I ain't going for it. Okay, what's... what's um, What's something that you, you couldn't forgive? I go by loyalty. I'm big by that. So, like, try not to forgive. This is my mom. So, like, um, of course, like, if somebody this you dead disrespect home, my boy, mom, like, yeah, you dis oh, yeah, if you dis one of my dad home. So, so how do you feel like rappers should handle beef now? Like, yeah, that's I don't fuck. I be uncomfortable listening to a lot of rappers when they be saying shit like that. Like, all that. What what you say is usually words is a big thing. Words is energy. You feel me? You be careful what you say because that shit comes to life. Okay, so uh, <laughs> let's go left a little bit. So, would you be willing to say how many girls have you uh, been with? I've been like seven females. <clears throat> Seven? Yeah. Is it? I've been in long relationships. Okay. I'm actually in a relationship right now. So. Well, I guess you're a good guy, so you know. You know, African. Get you an African. Uh, African? Yeah. Get you African. You know what? I admit this. We do the same thing females. I admit this. Um, but we don't bullshit with y'all. This like African girl. Nah. But, you know, like, some Africans, like, I guess they don't believe in like dishes and all that kind of what? stuff. So, uh, tough pussy was stank. But um, I heard you're not even really supposed to like do like. Are you you're supposed not to, supposed like, to do that. Yeah, you're not supposed to do shit. You, you really don't. If you if you got a douche, that means you got something wrong with you, right? That's what my yeah. girlfriend told me. You're supposed to use that little cycle. Your cycle is for you to be cleaned out. That's the shit whole that's point of it. Day. Oh, the feminine watch, about the your feminine body watch. Body that's body. all you need. If, yeah. you, if you're using other than feminine watch, something's wrong with you. Yeah. Something, you What's better like go get checked out. If it's brown, yeah, it's like pink, barbecue. anything. No, like the dead fish, man. Yeah, that's, mm. that's, that's, that's. What happened? What you do? What did you do? Hold up, how the fuck did you get to I did so? Okay, Where did it come from? You, 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 you. Where did that come from? Where did that come from? Hey. It appears about to get thrown off. No, I'm like, that, shit. that ain't happening. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if you if you um, meet a girl and she she smell like, would you, would you like try to help her fix it, or you would be like, I ain't fucking with you no more. I'm I'm gonna feel like it like I don't fuck with a girl before like it was <laughs> and like. I straight up left, like, I went to the other room, and I told her friend about her, and, uh, yeah, and got gone, I ain't, I ain't, nah, I'm very, I'm very inclined to you, this is deep. So you, like, you ain't never had, like, no threesome or nothing? Are you trying to, are you trying to, you trying to get me in trouble on air? <laughs> 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 this is a long time ago. Yeah. This is a long time ago. Then we talk about it. I done been in some shit. What happens in Vegas stays in Vegas and all. I lived in Vegas for a while, so you know. It went down in Vegas, okay. That's what's up. So matter of fact, do Africans believe like 
they should be have more than one woman? Nah, 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 nah. That's why it's probably back, back, back in the day and shit. Oh yeah, yeah. This, okay, I met this African too, right? <clears throat> and and that's was, like the Cold Lee side. They be doing that a lot of ways. He was like, uh, they do have a lot of kids though, not to cut you off. That's what's up. I don't know what's wrong with Africans, but I mean, like my dad got like nine brothers and like seven sisters. My mom got like three brothers, like eleven sisters and shit like that. Seem like you end up dating a relative, like. It's possible. It's possible, like when you having kids like that. Okay, yeah, I remember I met this African. And he told me, he said, um, the women are taught not to call the police because it's like okay to beat your woman or whatever. So like, is, is that true? Um, like, I have like, you know, I know some like abusive uncles, you know, like, it's like, it's like this, like a woman, an African woman, does like what she got to do for her kids and for her family. Like if an Afri if you see an African woman getting beat, she's not just letting that slide for the man. She's letting that slide for the for family. But like as soon as that kid turn eighteen, it's over with. It's over with. She either finna kill you in your sleep, cut your dick off, put some bricks on you, or disappear back to the motherland, or you know she gonna be gone. Damn, she ain't hold a grudge for that long. Yeah. Real. I ain't fucking no African woman. <laughs> but usually an African woman gonna beat your ass and not just gonna put your hands on her. Okay, so um have you ever suffered from depression? And then how like did you deal with it? Did you do it like for music? But like sometimes, you know, sometimes you get to that point you can't like you can't even get to the music because like you feel like you've been making too much depressed music, so you try to bounce out of it. But, uh, I really get over it. I guess you, like, try to find, go back to the spot where you were happy or something. Go back to where you was happy and think of that moment where you was happy and try to redo those things. Yeah. Okay, so what's, um, what's something a person can do and you will lose respect for them? Rob. You or just anybody, they did anybody like that. They robbed somebody you don't know, you still lose respect for them or they be talking Say about like I'm telling you, I know you did it, so it's just kind of thing that you spit lying to me. Okay, I got you, I got you. Okay. Okay, why do you think people respect artists more like when they come from like a violent environment? Because they've been through the shit. Some people ain't gone through the shit yet. Sometimes you're like you gotta go through the shit. But you know it's gangsters be in the suburbs too, like niggas who stomp your fucking ears together, but I don't know why they seem to think like and you know it's niggas in the hood that can't fight, but they still get more respect if they became a rapper, you get what I'm saying? So um I guess I don't know why it's like that. Okay, so um this will go. Yeah, you have more shit to talk about, I guess. Okay, so when you started when you started chasing your dreams, did like any of your friends start like acting different towards you? Of course. And like what you did y'all like kinda resolve it or you was just like I ain't fucking with her no more? I mean, I lost a lot of friends. I don't even really got friends right now. Like I had like brothers and like people I look out for, but I wouldn't really say I got friends right now. I don't got no friends like that. Okay, so what's what's one of your worst um experiences with the police? I mean, had some shit. I had been some shit. Had a gun pop off a Chick Fil A down there at MLK. Say it again. Had a gun off pop a Chick Fil A down there at MLK. Probably the most crazy shit. Oh, so, so, so you got a record? <laughs> okay, so um, 
it was a story too about uh well I said this earlier, like uh young boy was saying basically like being See, I don't be huh, I don't be I don't got like a crazy, crazy record like everything like I got like, you know, a couple weed charges, you know, shit like that, you know. You know, gun charge, shit like that. But I don't be like out there on the mix, like looking for charges type of shit. I'm really in the cut. But sometimes shit's happen, you know. Yeah, it's really self defense type shit. Okay, so yeah, um young boy was saying basically, uh, you ain't a man because you fighting on uh, uh, like shooting somebody. Uh-huh. That makes you a man. So what's what's your thoughts you on that? Shooting somebody makes you a man. Yeah, like basically killing somebody that makes you a man. Nah, <clears throat> I wouldn't agree with that. Cause you like trying to ask me what makes you a man then? Yeah, well, ba- that's basically what he's saying. Nah, I wouldn't say that makes you a man. Having heart just makes you a man. Like knowing when to shoot and when not to shoot, that makes you a man. Just because it ain't take pop it off right now, like shit like that. Okay, yeah, it was a. Um, you should know when to ride. You should know when, you, when it's time to ride. Um, being a man is not like you gotta go shoot somebody and be a man. Like, nah. They ain't even really doing all that type of shit in games right now. Oh, oh, yeah. 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 So, like, is it like, is it like gang banging in Africa like that? Gang banging in Africa, you, it's crazy. Like, you, don't, you can't even compare war and gang, it's war down there type shit. Mm. When we talking gang bang, you, you, you really dying. <laughs> you feel me? Mm. Ain't no beef with ops, it's killing ops. That's how it is down there. Ain't no beef with ops. You killing ops. Okay, yeah. You, you gonna rush this out. Like, <laughs> I, I told you, you got to take it. Okay. So, um... What what motivates you to um do music? Life, everything. I don't know. I'm like self motivating. Music just became a career, so it's like ain't nothing really like. Alright, shit, throw that beat on, man. For real. Oh yeah, you wanted the um the freestyle too. Trying to turn up. Yeah, turn it, turn it up. Give you some good content. So this a freestyle or this something you read? I'm a uh, I'm gonna go after Bob. I'm gonna find this motherfucking beat. So um, I guess with the females, like which one you say? Or like the women in Africa better than the women in the States? Oh, yeah, I say like, people hate when I say this, but the African women in America is, are lazy, are very lazy. I guess it's because we come to America for one thing, and they've been here all their life, so like, you know, some just take it for granted. You know, I don't know what it is. Talk to them. Hey, that baby beat go hard. I gotta make that a song, song, song. Yeah. <laughs> you ready, man? You ready? I'm ready. Tell them I'm coming in 2021. Okay, so so how do people um get in touch with you? How they find your music and all that? On Instagram is Young T O K O. iTunes Young T O K O. YouTube everywhere is Young T O K O. iTunes, Pandora, Spotify. You can get me everywhere. Bad Intentions is out right now. Trend at the bottom is out right now. Right. Just hit 100 K Spotify. 23k views on the on the YouTube video. Shit's trending right now. I got I'm working on a, a video. I wonder, very well shot by 720. He works for like, uh, he got a video for PNB. He got a video for Lil Dirt. Y'all from Philadelphia. Uh, we got a little great video. We're trying to put out there on BET like sometimes Christmas, New Year's type shit. Oh, who, who, like, who is you with? Like, you making a Me? lot of moves. Like- shit, really, like, I'm really like. I'm really not on no like paperwork, paperwork type shit. Like I really like if I need help, I got like some. I'm like tied in with like some family type shit. This is like family, they're, like my folks. So like, yeah, you got you money. making moves. Like you, you gotta, gotta have money, money to do money. shit yeah, like yeah, that, bro. I'm, not, I'm like, you know, I'm grinding. I'm not broke. You know, I've yeah. been stacking up and saving for a minute for this. You know, I've been at this since I was 17. 
One thing I always know, you can't be broke doing this shit. I listen to music, I listen to meat, I listen to rappers. So, so. Yeah, no matter how good you are, you just not to be scammed broke. in this shit, you feel me? I yeah. done been in Atlanta when I didn't even live in Atlanta, trying to fuck with Authentic Empire, trying to fuck with a lot of other six-figure records. I done fucked with a lot of people, but I felt like I was better off myself. All the money I'm spending and doing, I feel like I might as well just fuck with my folks, you know? Like, say if I got two bands and I'm short one, they gonna throw down, I could hold them on the back end or they make it through a show or make it through something else, you feel me? So I just fuck with my folks until I find somebody that they gonna find me somebody to work with. Okay, so uh, there really is no pressure. I might try to get some footage too to, uh, I guess to complete the, the rest of it, but um, we'll do it outside, but um, literally it's no pressure, man. We had Young Toko, this nigga killed it. That's, like, I got, I got a cousin who do shit like that. He get rap problems for, like, four hours, and you remind me of that nigga. Like, he dope as fuck. Yeah, but. man. I, I really started off rap battling and shit. You feel me? Like, yeah. Like, niggas be sleep through all of them when I be singing. Because, like, I got, like, I speak four different languages. I got, like, six different voices. Like, so, people be sleep. But, yeah, I got them bars. Like, that's what's up. Okay. Literally, there's no pressure, man. We gonna see y'all next week. We had Young Toko shut this shit down. He had motherfuckers walk in here like, who the fuck is that man? So he killed it. Um, Who's next? That's me. We'll see y'all next week, man. We out. I go by Young Toko. You can follow me anywhere. That's Y-O-U-N-G-T-O-K-O. -O. Hey, look. All I had was dreams. I had to go and find some hope. My mama used to work so hard to get us all we want. So young and I move on, start facing life shit on my own. Uh. And then knock them boss up facing, start moving back cause she was slow. Uh. Bouncing state to state, trying to get a deal, she said move on. Uh. How can I move on when I already came this far? Uh. This the life I want, the life of dream, my life I chose. All this anger built inside me from shit I still ain't cold. Like how I'm supposed to explain to one of my sons why I can't vote. Like how I'm supposed to trap and pay the bills if I can't work. A nine to five career job like all these daddies were. I can't be 29 and rapping, hoping one day I'm gonna blow. <laughs> I said, it was back then when a nigga didn't have shit. Nappy hair, food stamps, I prayed to get mad rich. Mama hiding clothes that she bought us from my dad, cause money wasn't coming in good till the taxes. I used to steal clothes and change before my classes. Mama caught me a couple times, sisters laughing. I ain't had a brother, but my cousin turned my back then. It's funny I was broke, I ain't had shit to brag in. But I still had haters, yeah, it's funny I would have been. See my uncle doing this thing, he met filthy. Started spitting balls off the brain that was filthy, but a young boy from Africa. You know they wouldn't feel me Still rep my city even knowing they don't feel me If you hate me, then kill me Can't feel my pain, you don't feel me Alright